Hello everyone, in the previous video I show you that how we able to use business card reader for the actually purpose of scanning the business card and extract some information. So if you remember uh, that actually we create a, we able to create one from the home tab and you can actually go to the AI builder, go to the build, you can um, actually use the scan reader from here. Uh, that is business card here so it's navigate you to the app or you can simply come here and add a new screen over here and going to the insert to the ai builder at business card reader so they are both the same and uh, if you remember the business card reader if i show to you business card reader number two has different information like uh, address city country email and many things that may you have in the business card so in this uh, scenario i'm going to show you a process that i'm able to scan uh, actually i'm going to scan a business card and then i want to store it back to my outlook contact or to my uh, office 365 contact so it happened that many of us in a uh, in a actually we are in a conference we meet someone and we want to scan their actually business card and then their information directly go to our outlook contact uh, such as their information about the you know email phone and other information so uh, i'm going to show you this process using power apps and power automate together so we see that how we can do that so i'm just going to show you that's the process so uh, i do the same i'm going to the uh, creating the new app i'm going to create new home canvas app from blank and i'm going to call it contact information or better name just that and i'm going to create a new one and uh, so that's the same process we have as last time just last time we used the ai builder directly here i'm going to use the uh, simple power apps and add a component and then connect it to the flow okay so this is the one that we have and also you can go to the insert ai builder and i'm going to add the business one so the information that i need this time is not actually everything just a couple of information and uh, like so just put it here I'm going to set business card reader dot full name i want the full name of the people so that's the one other things that i want are the actually um, information such as uh email so that's another thing and also the uh, other things that i need is their contact information that i'm going to add here so the last one we need the business phone so that's a one. So now it's actually the simple one. I'm going to show you that how it works. So you remember last time we actually we get a card here. So for example, that was the one that I show for Elsa. She's my friend, actually from Wardy IT. And uh, I'm going to scan her information, and you will see that I extract. So this is a, what we did last time. So this is a one. So now I want to enter this type of information to my flow so what i'm going to do i need to go to the first of all you need to save it just remember always you need to save what you've done so i call it as a yeah get information just correct yep get contact information now i'm back to the microsoft flow i'm going to microsoft flow and i'm going to create a simple flow over here so this flow is not going to use ai builder so uh, i can actually create uh, from blank so just skip that one. So what I need, I'm going to set that whenever some business card reader information comes from Power Apps, I want to actually create a contact in my Office 365 Outlook one. So set create 
contact and uh, that's the one so i'm actually i using this one there are different one but i find this one is kind of much easier so you should you need to specify the root i said i need to put it into the contact information and also you can provide some information like given name so i click here i tell that ask in power apps but in the second one you see that you i can get a given name so i choose that one and remove the previous one so that's one there it asks you see that it is it has a red star that means that you should provide so again i said i need to ask in power apps and it's call it as a home phone item and that's a bit misleading i'm I agree about that and the last thing that i need is their email address so i click on email address uh, actually uh, i need this one not email address name i need the email address so i click this is name of email address this is a email address itself so i click on that and is actually should provide me the email address number one which is the one that i want so this is all so this is the old thing that i have I put a name for the flow. I said get contact information store in Outlook. And I'm going to save it. So easy. So now I have a flow. Just remember you should be in the same environment as you have your app over there. So this should be a same environment. So this is here. So it seems okay everything and I'm going to actually to connect these two together. So I'm going to connect uh, same as the other. So click on insert button and it's going to, I can uh, provide the name just at contact. And the action for this button, so I click on the top action, is to connect to the Power Automate. So it's going to connect to the Power Automate. Uh, the, uh, this is a flow that I just created, if you look at here, information with the I and N capital. So I said, yep, that's a flow that I want. So it's going to connect these two together. And uh, you remember in the flow, I didn't as mentioned what information i want to add but because in the in the uh, actually component of the outlook i already mentioned i need given name i need home email uh, home uh, phone and also email address you can see they listed here so i'm going to write so for the first item that is busy that's a given name i said that should be full name that's a full name of people for the second one that is the home phone i mentioned i need a business card reader dot um phone that is actually a business phone and the last one that is email address again business reader the challenges that you may got is the information you have here i have some challenge to add the uh, actually to add this one sometimes they are mismatched with what you put here so just be careful about what you do so that's a challenge that i have so that is all i'm going to uh it seems okay everything and let's try it we can test it we can try to see that does it work or not so uh just need to save it to make sure that all changes has been saved and now we are going to test it okay so i'm going to test it so to test it you need to click on here and just scan the barcode that already scan and click on add the contact and if you come in here you should see that it's happened so this is the one that i did previous time you can add some uh, information in flow like if the email already add there you do not need to uh, actually add it again so it's actually is going to run several times the second time that i just run it in 15 seconds ago and the other one so let's check my outlook one i'm already at some of them to check that one you need to go to the outlook so in the outlook at the bottom of the page you need to click on contact so uh, these are the contact that I'm added. You see that these two has been added recently uh, because I didn't put 
any check for that there already exists or not. So you can also add to your uh, actually um, on the flow to check that if the name is already exists, you can do that. That's a, actually there are kind of we have different things you can that you can add the action, check the uh, actually uh, if then else and the other things that we have here so uh, like a switch case control and the other that is more flow hope in uh, later video i'm showing that but this is actually working and i use it already for my uh, actually phone so now uh, because whenever you create an app in here uh if you install power apps in your phone you're able to actually to use it so i can show you now that how it actually work so the only thing is that I'm going to remove what I have here. So I'm going to remove myself. So the contact that is Layla, that is repeated. And also the one for Elsa. Okay, and I'm going to check it with my phone. Okay, so just back to there. Okay, so I connect my phone. I'm going to use the business card reader over here. And I'm going to set, I want to scan the business card using my camera. And I'm going to take a picture of my business card. It is okay. And it should extract the information over here. So I just take a time to extract the information. So as you see, these are my information, Radhaka, Leila. And I click on this button. This is a previous app that I'm created. So it's going to actually to see that what is happened. Yeah, Leila is added already here. So you see that how it's actually easy or you can, you know, just a process. It's a very simple. Uh, this is the one you can add organization or other things or uh, more information that you want from her uh, there. Uh, and the other one that we have here uh hope you enjoy it it's a very simple app and you can really create anything with power apps and uh, i hope that you enjoy this one and use it in the next conference or in the next meeting you have with your friends clients or uh, in other environment thanks so much for watching this video um, and i hope in future i create more about ai builder